Yes, so we are here in the Academy of Fine Arts in Munich, where yeah, we study art. And yeah, this is um, my classroom space, uh, which I share with my classmates. And yeah, here are working between 10 to 20 people on their artworks. And yeah, the rest is in other workplaces here in the house. We have 18 different workplaces, for example, for wood or stones or even a laser. 3D print, uh, glass, sculptural glass. So this is like more the, the private space for the artists to work on their stuff. What inspires me the most isn't really in the outside world, it's more in the inside. Of course, things from the outside world come into my painting because I'm part of this world and people, nature, um, stuff that that flows into my art, but that's not a conscious act. I would say that that happens on, on its own because I'm just part of the outside world and when I let my inside world flow out, then it, it all flows together, I would say. Yeah, so this is the painting I'm currently working on. It's a mix between um, acrylic and oil colors. In this painting and in most of my paintings I use like my own <laughs> painting technique which is like intuitive painting and I just start with oh the plan basically just make a background and let the creativity flow and yeah which you can see here in the in the background this was like the first layer here uh, where I just put on random colors like not thinking just doing while painting it, the, the plan like develops more and more. And yeah, with this second layer in oil here, I still no clue what I was <laughs> actually doing. <laughs> yeah, so I wouldn't describe myself as uh, any of that or an artist or, or a painter or something, because I think uh, we are all spiritual, immortal spiritual beings making a temporary human experience. I don't like putting myself into uh, a package of a group of people. Um, I don't think that generally this is uh, a good thing like saying yeah I'm this, I'm that. I wouldn't even define myself as a man um, because I think we are both man and female inside one. And now, right now, I'm coming like to an end of this painting, and then um, I also got an idea what I want to call it. And for example, I will um, paint him here, the the dude here, like two brushes with colors of these two colors, and um, the colors will be dripping down here, and it will then look like that this um, character here painted the background, and. The title of this painting will be Who is the Artist? It's pretty cool with this guy here looking in that direction and here's the painting and here are like different um, people to see and also like in a philosophical way. I think that it's, it's not so clear to say who the artist is. I, I can't 100% say that I'm the artist of this work because I was painting intuitive and just doing like anything without a plan and getting into an inner silence and then just doing, not thinking, just doing. I think we, um, we plug into an energy of the higher self, I could call it, uh, when, we be, when we are creative, like um, also when you do poetry or something, I think that the best the best art is coming out when there's, um, yeah, when you are in the no mind space. 
I'm getting happier and happier with the result. In the beginning I didn't like it at all. <laughs> I have been doing art, like painting and stuff since I can remember, since I was a kid. And I had the luck that my parents were always supporting me with that. Since two, three years I'm um, experimenting a lot because I'm all, also, since that I'm here in this house, I have the opportunity to um, try out different things. So that's what I'm currently doing. And I'm also working lately a lot on glass. Uh, like yeah, glass blowing and uh, making sculptures out of glass, making like glass animals, the skeletons out of glass. Yeah, so I'm I'm experimenting. <laughs> yeah, basically what I haven't tried out yet is um, like sculpturing with a, with a hammer and uh, the other thing <laughs> which you use and. I did a performance recently, also like doing performances. This was a performance where I was uh, meditating five hours on a um, white podest. <laughs> and yeah, I also like to bring in these topics into my work. And yeah, sometimes it's easier through other ways than through painting. I would say that I'm part of nature. I am nature, basically. I am the material world that I am here. I mean, I could also say that I'm part of this building, <laughs> but I definitely, like if you see anything as everything as one, then I could say I'm part of that building. But um, yeah, I, with nature, I definitely feel more connected because yeah, I really love to look at nature. I really love animals. Uh, I basically love everything, <laughs> all human beings. I feel connected with everything, I would say. <laughs> when I work on glass, I have my sketchbook where I do the sketch of the sculpture which I want to make because then it's way easier to make the sculpture. And yeah, when I do a painting, I just paint intuitive. Most of the time, I also did a couple of paintings where I had a real plan which I, what I wanted to paint but most of my paintings are without a plan and without a routine, just doing what I'm doing, yeah. Many different artists influenced my work, definitely, um, but I think it's more like a subconscious act. Salvador Dali, of course, is like, uh, I love his paintings and I think he definitely had an influence from him, also because he's so famous that I already, as a child, saw um, his art. Another artist which I also like a lot because it's um, more spiritual is uh, Alex Gray. He does really, really nice paintings of the energy flows in the body. And he made a nice painting about um, uh, like the energy flows of a person painting, like with the third eye, uh, the energy flows through the through the brush uh, into the painting and stuff. And I really like uh, his paintings, yeah. You can buy a print if you want to, a print of my uh, best work, which I did so far. It's like a huge collage, uh, two meters, 10 to 39 centimeters. Um, and uh, we did like a, a scan of it, so you can buy a print of it, uh, one one-to-one -one print. A uh, huge print. Yeah, the website will be goinginwards.com. We will create it soon. And yeah, there you can buy a print. And it's also not expensive. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I would promote. <laughs>
I am. <lacht> Scheiße, das haben wir doch schon gesagt. <lacht> Let's go. Okay, cut. <lacht>